high school football coach sparking some outrage. His team won a recent game 91 to nothing. A parent for the losing team filing a complaint against a coach accusing him of, and this is the word that was being used, bullying, saying he should not have, uh, he should have eased up on the rival team. Maybe sees Bianca Goldriga has a story. Oh. It really, really sucks. We all remember how the water boy was bullied out on the football field. But this morning, for one Texas high school football team, they say bullying on the field is no joke. On Friday night, the undefeated Aledo Bearcats crushed winless Western Hill in a game that ended 91 to 0. That's a cremation, is what that is. I wish at some point they could just say, okay, game over. One parent was upset enough to file a bullying complaint against the entire winning team's coaching staff, saying they should have eased up. In the complaint, the parent, who remains anonymous, writes, On Friday night, we all witnessed bullying firsthand. I did not know what to say to explain the behavior of the Aledo coach for not easing up when the game was in hand. Bearcats head coach Tim Buchanan says that he did take steps to back down. When you start getting 56 to nothing and then 63 to nothing and so on, you start trying to figure out what can we do to slow down. So he says he started running the clock and putting in substitutes. The only thing we did not do was tell our kids to quit playing hard. I think one of the most important things we can do is teach children about resilience, and how to lose gracefully and deal with those negative emotions. It is common in most middle and high school sport programs to implement a mercy rule, which brings a game to an early end if one team has a large lead over the other team. But in Texas, there is no such rule. Parents need to learn to let children fail and have negative emotions and bounce back and figure out how to handle that and, and you know, face the next day. For Good Morning America, Bianca Goladriga, ABC News, New York. Oh, you better believe we're going to talk about this. Oh. We're going to bring in child <laughs> yes. development specialist, Dr. Robin Silverman. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much you. for being here. Now, we know, and we talk about it a lot on the show, bullying does exist. Mm -hmm. It's real. It is dangerous. That's right. Are we quick, though, to throw a label like that? And do you think in this case it was bullying? I think you're right that we do label it very quickly. When I am presenting to schools and to parents, I define bullying with A, B, C, D. A, is it aggressive? Is it an attack? Physical, social, emotional. B, is the balance of power unequal? Older, younger, bigger, smaller. C, is it consistent? Is it happening more than once over a period of time? And D, is it deliberate? Is there an intention mm -hmm. to harm? And in this case, I do not believe that there was an intention to hurt or harm. We should point out, this coach put his third string players in mm -hmm. before halftime. They ran the clock. Kept it running, no timeouts for the entire second half. It's a good team. It's a high-scoring team. Yeah. If these two teams shouldn't be playing each other, that's fine. Short of that, I, there's just there is not. I will say, as a former athlete, here. though, there's nothing more disheartening to just get trounced like that. Right. But yeah. I, but I, oh, will. I, get, I, I disagree. If you lost and it's really close, that hurt more than if you just get. Then you know the other team no, is but just so at much better. It's like don't really don't, don't kick me when I, I'm down. Well, and you know, right. I, I, I hurts, think I grew period. up being the underdog all my life or felt that way. So oh, I understand. And seriously, I understand both sides, and I know that those kids walked off the field feeling terrible, but is that the responsibility of the other team? Well, and it sounds like they did try. Dr. Robin, the parent, okay, the reason they came forward, they had their reasons for mm -hmm. it. What sure. do you say to parents if they're involved in a game mm -hmm. like that and they mm -hmm. see that their child is being beaten like that? Use it as a lesson. Mm -hmm. This is a time to reframe. So talk to your child. Say, look. You failed to score, but that doesn't make you a failure. What I saw out there was somebody who had great character, who kept going no matter what happened. You're going to use that all throughout your life. Make sure that no loss beats you down, not in football yeah. and not in life. Yeah, okay. that's good. good. Dr. Robin, good. thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Very helpful. Yeah. Those ABCDs mm -hmm. really helpful. Thank you.